Welcome to another Southwest MLS Spotlight. Today, we want to talk about some of the basic foundations of the MLS and how some practices hurt the integrity of the data. First and most importantly, the MLS is not a marketing platform. It is a data platform, a platform created to facilitate cooperation and compensation between buyers and sellers brokers. Many people erroneously believe that the only purpose of the MLS is to market their property for sale. This is a shallow understanding of what the MLS does. MLS data is used by appraisers and realtors to run comparative market analysis, as well as provide valuable statistics and historical information to government and news entities. One story I love to tell drives this point home. After Hurricane Michael devastated 80% of the homes in my Florida hometown, housing and rent prices went through the roof. Servicemen and women operating out of the two military bases were no longer able to find adequate housing because their housing stipend was no longer high enough. The MLS data allowed us to provide the military with concrete proof that increased their stipend. Without complete and accurate data, this would not have been possible. Wow, that certainly conveys the seriousness of accurate data. Lately, we have been seeing an increase in local practices that harm the accuracy of our data and make it much harder for people who rely on that data to do their jobs. One practice that really undermines the process is removing photos from a listing after an offer has been received or not having enough photos on the listing in the first place. This makes it difficult for some one trying to pull comps to determine why a house sold for $50,000 more than the same house next door. Without photos, one cannot see fixtures, appliances, renovations, or upgrades that may have been completed. The MLS is a collaborative effort, one that exists only in the U.S. and Canada. And the more data we store, the more information is available for all of us to access. A broker doesn't want to eliminate a listing from their comp process because there isn't enough info to verify if it is truly a comparable property or not. If your seller is worried about privacy, you can utilize Flex's Make Private While Off Market option. This option makes the photos private and visible only to members of the MLS and sends a message to websites that they should be removed from public view. Another troubling trend has been with brokers changing the list price after their listings have gone into pending. Apparently, some believe that if you increase the list price, then you encourage the appraiser to value the home at a higher price. The Southwest MLS Policy Committee spoke with a few different appraisers about this practice. And let me tell you, you're not fooling anyone. An appraiser doesn't consider the list price of the home as part of their valuation process. Additionally, original list price is clearly visible on the listing for everyone to see. Not only are you not accomplishing anything when you do this, you're also harming the MLS data. Some reports calculate list price versus sale price and you're artificially altering those numbers. Also, years from now, it will be important to historians and researchers to look back and view real estate trends to determine how the pandemic and historically low inventory rates affected the market. Keep in mind as well, Article 2 of the Code of Ethics states, Realtors shall avoid exaggeration, misrepresentation, or concealment of pertinent facts related to the property or the transaction. Bottom line is this, remember that your purpose as a realtor goes far beyond just buying and selling homes. You are stewards of data that could impact future appraisals and is used at every level of government to make decisions that affect people's lives. Think of the big picture before you do anything to manipulate, change, delete, or otherwise dilute MLS data because your actions could have unintended consequences. We thank you for watching this segment of Southwest MLS Spotlight.